for the new comic book day best bets of the week for January 22nd, 2020. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Haven't done a new comic book day best bits of the week the past two weeks, but honestly, it's been because it's been a very, very light week, and I honestly didn't pick up any books. So um, let's get into this week's. There's a little bit more books than usual this week, but nothing, you know, that's going to break the bank. Uh, so let's start off with uh, Image Comics. And then we'll work our way downwards. Uh, this is through Previews World. So, you know, the cool thing about this website, I can click right onto the image, read a little solicitation, go right back, and I don't have to worry about missing my spot, which is one of the big flaws of Midtown when I do my new comic book day best bets. So um, let's scroll down. And uh, I don't believe there's anything this week for uh, image, so I'm just going to minimize that. And go down to the next book series, which is Dark Horse. So, uh, Dark Horse, what do we got here? Boom, boom. All right, like I said, very light week. And there's nothing in Dark Horse this week either. All right, <laughs> IDW. Um, let's see. Looks like that Road of Bones trade paperback is finally out. I don't know if you guys ever read that that four part uh, mini series. It was really good. If you didn't get a chance to get the books, it'd be a great time to get that trade paperback. Um, let's see. We've got a number two here. I can sell you a body. I believe I recommended that on a prior new comic book day, but um, I was never able to get that book, so I couldn't tell you if it was worth picking up. So we're scrolling through, and it uh, doesn't look like there's anything here either. All right, let's get into DC. So DC, Basket Full of Heads, number four. This will be the first book I pick up. It's been a really good good series by uh, Joe Hill. Joe Hill, House of Horror. Oh, yeah. So um, I believe it's just the one cover. From the, oh, you got two covers here. It has the... Uh, Cover B, which is also a really cool cover. So I'm going to add this to the list. All right, where's my uh, bring out the calculator? So $3.99. All right, scrolling through. I think there's another big. Big book this week for uh, DC that everybody is going to be looking to pick up potentially, and I believe it is. Let me scroll on down. There we go. Wonder Woman number issue number seven fifty. It's going to be uh, obviously a pricier book because it's a special issue. You know, issue number 750, as you can see as I'm slowly scrolling through, that there are quite a bit of covers. So let me just pop open up the first cover here. This will probably be the cover I get. I like to see how she's holding up the globe there. Earth. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty pricey book at $9.99, so don't go crazy with the... Uh, buying up all these issues as you can see any of these special commemorative issues often end up in your uh, dollar bins 50 cent bins you know three to six months from now so just pick the cover that you like all right and I think that's it for uh, for DC this week all right moving on to Marvel all right there's this new number one here I was interested in checking out, which is um, Atlantis Attacks number one. I'm a big fan of Namor the Submariner, and I believe you get, um, from what it's saying, the armies of Atlantis face at Atlas in a showdown destined to shake allegiances and break hearts. So you get a little bit of the uh, agents of Atlas facing off against the, the team in Atlantis. Atlantis, obviously, and uh, I'm going to check it out. It's written by Greg Pak, 
cover, this cover in particular is by Ron Lim, which I'm a big fan of Ron Lim. I'll check out the first issue and see what goes on from there. So I'm going to add this to the list. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people are going to pick up this book. So, And I'm pretty sure it's going to be low print. So, um, all right. It's my first Marvel book. Next book is going to be Conan Serpent War number four. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm just going to go over to uh, Midtown because I don't see this really cool cover. So this is, I'll add this one to the list. It's $4.99. All right. Puts me at 22. All right. Um, I'm going to go over to Midtown just because I want to show you guys this really cool cover. It's already been sold out. Um, and you'll, once you see why, you'll understand why it's already sold out. Yeah. All right. So it's, uh, I believe they're incentives. Yeah. So you got this really cool Christian Ward cover. Highlighting Moon Knight in the middle and some two serpents on the outside. This is uh, already sold out. And then wait till you see this next cover. Look at that cover. That, that thing is just absolutely fire. If I could buy one book this week, it'd be this, this cover right here. It's a one for 25, I'm guessing. Um, really cool book. Very low print. I'm guessing it's going to be on the uh, top 10 list this week. It's already sold out. Like I said, it's my hot cover of the week. If I can find it, I'm going to pick it up and just disregard the rest of the books. But <laughs> I highly doubt I'm going to find this book. So, uh, like I said, I'll add the uh, the cover A or the cover B to the list. And that puts me at uh, 22 All right, 23 bucks. All right, so going back. And it's been a pretty good read. I, I enjoyed it at least. Um, all right, scrolling through. All right, let me go back over here. This is going to be the big book of the week. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be talking about it, doing reviews and so forth. It's going to be Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Written a new, obviously, a new startup, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's going to be started by Al Ewing and... Um, I'm interested to see where they go with this. You know, they had some mixed reviews about last year's Donny Cates Guardians of the Galaxy. There was some pretty good pretty good issues in there, but I, I felt like the ending of it was a bit underwhelming. And I'm um, a big fan of Al Ewing, so I'm going to check this out. $4.99. Add this to the, uh, to the list. Puts me at, all right, just under, you know, 28 bucks. And um, for this one, just pick the cover that you like. You know, I uh, there's some pretty cool covers. There's this uh, Ron Lim cover. It's not bad. It's, there's going to be a new team in here, and I believe there's a new um, a new villain. Yep, the Gods of Olympus. There we go. Um, so there's also this really cool scan cover, which is already sold out at uh, Midtown, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. So, um, like I said, I talked a little bit about this. Big fan of Al Ewing. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to make this my pick of the week. And um, let's just scroll through. I think that's pretty much it for Marvel this week. There is this Web of Venom, Good Son number one. Probably going to talk a little bit more about Dylan Brock. I'm going to hold off on this and... If I get some previews or some hints from uh, any of the comic community of if this book is worth picking up, I may pick, pick this up at a later date. That's it for Marvel. Going into Dynamite, I don't usually pick up anything here. It's A lot of it's just what I call eye candy covers. So I'm just going to pass on through. Boom Studios. There is one book I am picking up this week. And it is Once in Future, number six. That's an awesome cover as well. Um, been picking this book right along. It's been an amazing story. 
and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. All right, so 399 puts me at 32 bucks. All right, Emily, go back, and I think that is about it. Oh, I got some uh, just some additional stuff here. Yep, some smaller indies. I forget about this. It's right towards the end. I don't believe there's anything from the smaller publishers that I was looking at. Um, let's just scroll on through. There is this Gung Ho number two. I read number one. It was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. And for you Star Wars fans who will appreciate this uh, Star Wars number one cover swipe. So I'm going to add this as my honorable mention. Just because I said I read number one and I enjoyed it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. So um, finishing up. Just going to wrap up towards the end here. There's also this kids number one. Don't know too much about this, but I believe this is a Ghostbusters uh, movie cover swipe. But um, looks like some post-apocalyptic type of uh, storyline. I'm gonna pass on that. But um, all right, scrolling on through, and I think that is it. Yes, that is it. All right, so quick recap. How'd we do? 32 bucks, ugh, just over my limit. But um, like I said, the last two weeks, I didn't really do anything. Very light week, so I can, yeah, that's reasonable. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little twist on my uh, new comic book day. Change it up a little bit. Hope you guys like the beat in the background. A little bit of old school hip hop mixed with new school hip hop. Um, until next week, this is Mark Spectre Comics, out.